Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this chapter, we'll be looking at viewing and organizing your information in Microsoft OneNote. There are a number of different options to help organize the OneNote interface, but also provide you with more room to view active pages when needed. The version of OneNote that you're using will determine the tools that you have available. Let's first take a look at version 2010. If you're using version 2010, you can give yourself more workspace on your notebook pages by simply collapsing both the navigation bar and the page tabs bar. Now the small arrow next to each of the names of these areas will allow you to both collapse as well as expand them to modify your workspace to meet your needs. Let's switch back to 2013. If you're using version 2013, you can click the Full Page View button, which is in the upper right-hand corner of the Content pane, just to the left of the Page Tabs bar. And that will hide everything other than the Content window, providing you with a maximum amount of workspace for your pages. Switching back is very easy. Just click the button again to switch back to Normal View. There's the Normal View button. Now there are three different views in the OneNote program, allowing you to find a workspace that's best for you and switch in and out of those views easily to accommodate the tasks that you're trying to perform. Click the View tab in the ribbon and you'll see the buttons for the three views in the Views group. We have Normal View, Full Page View, and also Doc to Desktop. You simply click on the button to change the view to that mode. Now, Normal View is the view that we've been working with during this course. It's the default view, and it displays the workspace along with the notebook header and the page tabs bar. Full page view that we just looked at again provides the maximum amount of notebook workspace, and it also hides the page tabs bar, the notebook header, and the section tabs and collapses the ribbon. Switching back again is easy by clicking the Normal View button. Finally, we have the Dock to Desktop view right here, which is handy when you're working with multiple applications and you're moving a lot of content to OneNote. Clicking the Dock to Desktop button will condense the view of OneNote and dock or attach it to the other active application window so that they are viewed side by side. Note that once it's active, we can switch back to the normal view by clicking that normal view button. But let's take a look at how to do this. Let's say, for example, we're working on the internet at this page here and we're collecting some information. Let's switch back to OneNote. We'll click the Dock to Desktop button and you'll see then that the two applications now are docked side by side making it very easy to transfer information between the two. Here's the normal view button that appears. Give that a click and we'll switch back to our normal view. Now if you're using version 2010, it's performed a little bit differently. In version 2010, you can see the dock to desktop icon up in the OneNote Quick Access toolbar located right here. It appears in the Quick Access toolbar by default in version 2010. Now remember that since the view buttons are toggle buttons that they turn both the views on and off. So a quick click of the Dock to Desktop button switches OneNote back to normal view since that's its default view. Go back and switch to version 2013. There are two other groups on the View tab that provide tools to assist you in organizing the OneNote interface. Let's first look at the Page Setup group right here. We've taken a look at a couple of features of this particular group. Now, one option here is to color code the background of your pages. This helps to visually separate the pages and can make navigation or locating pages easier. To do this, with a page selected, click the Page Color drop-down 
and then select a choice for your background. Remember that if you have applied a color and you don't like it and you want to switch back, you can choose page color and choose no color instead. You can also add ruled lines to your notebook pages, which simulates the look of a ruled paper notebook. Or you can insert guidelines into the background, which is helpful when you're drawing or mapping out objects on your notebook pages. We looked at this earlier, but remember we can just click the Rule Lines drop down and then select from the choices that we have. We have Narrow Ruled, College, Standard, and Wide, and then here are our grid lines Small Grid, Medium, Large, and also Very Large. So if we wanted to apply one of these, you would just click on it to apply it to our pages. Again, we can go back and choose none if we want to remove them. Now also in the page setup group you can click the hide page title button. You'll see that right here. Now note that if you click this button OneNote will automatically delete the page title, date, and time. OneNote will prompt you with a dialog box asking if you're sure that you want to delete it. You would choose yes to delete those elements if you really wanted to. We'll select no for right now. Now sometimes you may want to zoom in and out of your notebook pages to see the information more clearly. The zoom group on the view tab in the ribbon provides you with the tools to zoom in and out of your pages with ease. Here's our zoom group. You can either click the zoom in here or zoom out buttons to the left of it to change the current zoom to a prescribed level. Now if you prefer you can use the zoom drop down and either enter a value into the text box and clicking enter or by clicking the drop down arrow and then clicking to select one of the set magnifications. So we can go here to the drop down for example it's set at 100 Maybe we want to change it to 150 very easily by selecting that drop down. Again, we could click zoom in one click at a time and also zoom out. Now you can also click either the 100% button to quickly set the magnification back to 100% of the document size. And then we also have the page width button, which is available in version 2013 which will zoom the document so that the width of the page matches the width of the window. And that's how we begin organizing the OneNote interface. In the upcoming lessons, we'll take a look at how to create new windows, as well as searching for content in a notebook. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.